Okay, this video, you know, I'm a little, I'm on edge. Okay, I'm a little bit on edge because kind of been putting this off. I don't know, it's not like anything I've ever made before. I'm like nervous, but I really want to tell you guys more about what's going on in my life because there's a certain part of my life that I feel like I'm kind of hiding from you guys and this isn't fucking clickbait. This isn't like some sort of like, let me just get into it, I guess. So this is kind of going to be a combination of the story of why I left school combined with why I started my YouTube channel. And it all kind of ties in together and it's kind of just like my story. I don't know. Like, not my story of my whole life. This isn't like a draw my life. Here's kind of what happened, I guess. Let's start out with why I started my YouTube channel. So I'm a junior in high school right now. I'm 16, junior in high school, blah, blah, blah. Okay, flash backwards to sophomore year, the end of the year, second semester. To put it in simple terms, I was just having a shitty time, like ass. I maybe showed up to school three times a week. I couldn't fucking do it. Like I would just, I'd sit in class and I'd just cry. Like, I don't even know why. It wasn't my school's fault. It wasn't anyone's fault. I just didn't like the environment. I totally had too much on my plate. At this point, I wasn't even doing YouTube yet, mind you. This was when I was literally just in school. Like that was my only like kind of thing that I was doing in my life. Towards the end of the year, I, I became severely depressed. I couldn't go to school. I couldn't hang out with my friends. I completely cut off all my friends. I didn't hang out on the weekends. I didn't do anything and it sucked. I mean, it really fucking sucked. And of course, I'm pretty sure everyone's probably felt something close to it, whether it's in a very small or very large kind of way. Second semester of sophomore year was probably the one of the worst times I've had. I didn't even come to the last day of school. The last day of school was June 1st. The day before that was May 30th, right? I think. Yeah. On May 30th, I took my driver's test. I failed. I was fucking so sad because to me, getting my license was like, this will give me a way to escape. You know, if I'm having a hard day, if I'm feeling fucking depressed as hell, and I just want to like have some time to myself, if I just want to go and like get food by myself, if I just want to like spend time by myself, I felt like having my license was something that could give me that. And so I was kind of connecting getting my driver's license with like having an escape from what I was going through. So when I failed my test, I, my depression immediately got worse. I mean, it was so bad. Like I literally couldn't get out of my bed. Thus, I didn't go to school the next day, which was the last day of school. I was really upset and I ended up talking to my dad for like, I don't know, two and a half hours or something. Just about like, what am I gonna do? Like, I need something that can like help me escape from like what I'm going through. Thus, started my YouTube channel. First video I posted was like a lookbook or something, right? May 30th was such a fucking shitty day for me. I was like, I need to like get my head out of this immediately. I wanna just like start a YouTube channel. I don't know why, I just wanted to do that. So then the next day, I went to San Francisco with my dad. He filmed the video for me. Next day I post it, it was up, and all of this began. Over the summer, I was posting almost every day for a while there. I was like vlogging on my vacations. I mean, I was hardcore on that YouTube grind, like you best believe. I loved it. It was so great. Fully pulled me out of my depression, 100%. In the beginning there, I didn't even care who, how many people like saw my videos. I didn't care about my views. I didn't care about my subscribers. I didn't, like not that I didn't care about my subscribers, but I didn't care about the number of subscribers I had. I was just excited to be doing something new with my life. Like I was just excited to kind of like, be starting a new journey with my life, I guess. And like, it kind of gave me this feeling of hope that depression wasn't ruling my life. I had something else that was making me happy and that was YouTube. And it still, to this day, continues to do that for me. And I'm eternally grateful, if that's even the right word to use. Fast forward to the end of summer, I kind of rekindled my friendships with some friends and I was kind of back to normal. I wasn't depressed anymore. I was almost fully out of that. I wasn't, I was really emotionally stable. Like I could have a shitty ass day and at the end of the day, I would still be smiling, you know? It was good. I was really stable. Start school junior year. And I've always been somebody who is super into school, if you will. I really work hard at school. I really put a lot of effort into school. It's something that I've always prioritized as my number one thing. That was like what I thought my future was. I thought that my future was gonna like be determined by what my grades were, etc. And that's why I put so much effort into it. But for me, during this year, I started out and of course I was taking a lot of APs and I was taking a lot of honors and it was, it was a lot. And I quickly fell back into a very, very depressed state. And it was very hard for me to film videos. It was very hard for me to edit videos. I remember there were like multiple nights where I pulled all-nighters trying to be able to do YouTube in school 
because for me YouTube was what kept me sane in a way so it was like for me I'd rather not sleep and get a video up because getting that video up is the only thing that gives me an ounce of happiness while being at school literally made me want to die I started falling back in my old habits I wasn't showing up to school I was late like every day sometimes I'd pull up to school I'd be sitting in the car and I'd be fucking bawling my eyes out and I just couldn't go in and I'd have to drive home I don't know exactly what it is about school and what about it made me so depressed but it was so bad. I would meet with my counselor weekly, my school counselor, trying to figure out a way that I could adjust my schedule, trying to find a way that I could, you know, trying to make my workload less impossible and it just was impossible. I could not cope with being at school. It just got to the point where it was simple. I, one morning I literally woke up and I was like, I will never go to that school again. And I told my parents, I'm like, I cannot go to school. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what school I'm gonna go to. I don't know if I'm gonna do online school, if I'm gonna like, I don't know. And mind you, it's not personal to the school that I went to. The school that I went to was trying to help me the best that they could. It's simply that the school system and the way that it's set up doesn't work for me. I don't have the attention span to sit in a class that's like two hours long. I can't deal with doing eight hours of homework a day. I can't deal with the interaction between me and teachers. It was never good. Um, on top of that, one of the things that really helped me within the first like two weeks of school was vlogging at school. I loved vlogging at school. It was so fun. You guys loved it too. We all loved it. It got me through school for the first two weeks but the school did find out and they were not so pleased because in their eyes in their opinion I was not portraying the school to be the way that they wanted it to be to portrayed basically and I totally understand I wasn't respecting the school's rules I wasn't you know I was cussing in school I was filming the teachers not their faces I'm not stupid but I was like you know I had the camera on me and you could hear the teachers voices and I wasn't really necessarily being very respectful in that way and I should have been but to be honest I didn't really care <laughs> like I was just like you know this is the only thing that's keeping me at school and keeping me sane right now so I'm gonna do it and that wasn't the smartest thing I shouldn't have anyway I wasn't allowed to vlog at school anymore every day I was depressed I couldn't even show up to school without honestly like l having to leave at some point of the day basically I talked to my parents and I said I need to leave so they agreed to let me get out of school not saying dropping out of school not saying I don't do school anymore but they allowed me to leave the school that I was at at the time and that was about a month and a half ago okay fast forward a few days later there's fucking rumors going around my school that I got expelled if you're watching this and you went to my school I did not get expelled for vlogging in class honestly I wish that that would have happened I actually would rather me have gotten expelled than me have gone through like the mental trauma that I went through because of school. But the reason why I'm making this video today is because what I want to do is I want to vlog. I love vlogging. Okay, it's what I love to do. It's so fun. I can just like be myself. It's just what I love to do. And I like it better than any of the other videos I make. But here's the thing. When I vlog, it's pretty obvious that it's during the week and it's pretty obvious that I'm not going to school. And of course, my top comment on like every video is, oh my God, more school vlogs, more school vlogs, more school vlogs. And I totally understand. I wish that I could do more school vlogs. I wish that like that wouldn't have been taken away. You know, that was actually one of the main reasons why I wanted to stay at school. I felt like it was a fun thing and it made school fun for me. And I know you guys can relate to it because you guys obviously go to school as well or at least most of you guys do I think there's something a lot of people are really hesitant to be accepting to somebody who isn't in the normal school environment it's something like oh no you it doesn't matter if you're depressed and that you're actually living in hell like it's fine because this is what you're supposed to be doing you have to you know show up to school Monday through Friday and sit in a classroom for eight hours a day because that's what you're supposed to do because that's what society says you're supposed to do and I understand because that's what we're all programmed to think but there are so many alternative options and if you're struggling like me there's so many other opportunities and ways that you can get your diploma and ways that you can graduate high school go off to college do whatever your heart desires that does not require sitting in a classroom from 8 a.m. to 3 and that's what I'm working with right now it's giving me more time to do stuff like YouTube which is what I love but it's also allowing me to be more mentally healthy and prioritizing my own health mental health physical health and I know a lot of youtubers drop out of school or don't necessarily drop out but they'll do online school they'll do other options because they want to spend more time doing YouTube and stuff and I think that that's for sure something that's cool and I think that totally makes sense 
but I want you to understand that that is not what I'm doing. And that's the reason why I was so scared to tell people about it. I'm still scared that that's what's going to be thought of me, but I really did want to get this off my chest. I wanted to tell you my story. That's also why I started my YouTube channel. It was an escape from what I was going through before. And I kid you not, it has been the best decision of my entire fucking life. There has not been one thing in this world that has been better for me in my life than YouTube. I fucking love it. I love talking to you guys. I love posting videos. I love editing videos. I love talking to a camera. It's like therapy for me. Do not get me wrong. I love YouTube, but it is not the reason why I decided to leave the high school that I was attending. Today, I was trying to film a video and it just, I didn't like it. I was like, this is stupid. This is just me trying to like make a video so that I don't have to vlog so that nobody will suspect that I'm not in school. For a whole week, if I just post vlogs, people will be like, okay, Emma, this doesn't add up. You obviously aren't going to school. And I was deadly afraid of that. Deathly, deadly, deathly afraid of that. And um, I'm over it. You guys are genuinely people that I really love. And like, we like have a connection, I think. Maybe that's just me, but I really do feel like I'm connected to you guys. And I know that's fucking corny, but I feel like we're friends and I feel like we have kind of a bond that I don't want to have to like ruin because I'm trying to hide certain parts of my life, if that makes sense. I feel better. Now that I've said all this stuff, and sorry this video wasn't like the normal Emma sort of video. Obviously, it's not the side of my personality that's like annoying and weird and shit. But like, this is also part of me as well. You know, serious. I'm not ever serious, but like, just know that there's other options for you. If there's something in your life that's making you unhappy, that's making you depressed, that makes you f just absolutely so sad and just lowers the quality of life for you personally, don't feel like you ever have to stay in that because there's so many my dog your life is completely up to you. It's where you, it's wherever you want to take it. You know what I mean? Oh my God. Fuck. I got a piece of dust in my eye. Okay, I'm not crying. It was just dust, I swear. Um, you have the power to decide what the next step in your life is. And if something in your life isn't making you happy, fucking you change that shit because you can. And I think that's all I have to say today. That was kind of all over the place. I'm not the best at telling stories because my brain is a little bit, you know, pop, pop. Also, I just drank this entire coffee in about two minutes um, before filming this video. So, like, that doesn't help either. For me, main goal, be fucking real. On Sunday, I'll have a regular video that isn't fucking emo like this. But, hey, I'm a normal person. Oh my god, get a text, right? It's from Verizon saying that I'm out of data. Oh no, okay, it says you're doing okay on data. 50% remaining and you have 13 days left. Okay, I can deal with that. I'm not ran out yet. Anyway, I love you guys so much. I really do. And I know it's kind of corny to say that you love your subscribers or you love the people who support you every day, but honestly, I really do love you guys. You're my freaking homies. I really, really do appreciate your support because you didn't even realize it. But like when I was going through some shitty ass times, your guys' nice comments genuinely, like I'm not just saying this to be corny, like they genuinely helped me like get through some of my hardest times and i'm so thankful for youtube i'm so thankful for this platform because it's cured me mostly of my depression and of other things that have just been absolute ass in my life and i am grateful every day that i failed my driver's test that one day because if i wouldn't have failed my driver's test i probably would have never made a YouTube channel or I probably would have never made this YouTube channel and I probably would have never posted my first video That's it with my rambling. I really know how to talk up a storm. I'll see you on Sunday Stay cool, bitch